How to hold the French horn? Wow, this is controversial. There are lots of different opinions on how to hold the French horn. I'd like to say this is how I would like my students to hold the French horn. I'm a brass teacher of all the instruments, but the instrument I play most frequently is the French horn. And it's the instrument that I played when I started learning brass many centuries ago. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I would like my students to play the French horn. If your teacher is not me and they tell you differently, then go with what your teacher says, of course. But for my students, this is how I would like them to hold the French horn. We use a left hand for the vowels. I am right-handed, doesn't matter. It's a left-handed instrument for the vowels. So three fingers on the vowels. The thumb goes on this lever or valve here, which is imaginatively called a thumb valve. Pinky goes in the hook. Now taking the weight of the horn, there are two options, and I'll tell you in your lesson which one I want you to take. If you're a bit smaller, <clears throat> I'm quite happy for you to take the weight of your horn on your right thigh. That's fine. No problem. Uh, and that's how a lot of American horn players play. They, they rest the horn on the thigh. A lot of British horn players, the horn is held away from the body. So depending on your size, some of my students, I'll tell you to hold the horn away from your body. Other students, I'll tell you to rest it on your thigh. Regardless of what I tell you in lessons about where to put the bell, the right hand position is always the same. So the right hand, imagine you're going to cup some water, so you don't want any water to leak. So you have your fingers flush against each other, your thumbs in there, in that position. And then those middle knuckles, on the four fingers and the thumb, come in to the bell and touch the metal. So the position of your right hand in a French horn bell, whether you're resting it on the knee or whether you're holding it away from the body, it's the same position. You'll feel a bit uncomfortable in your knuckles to start with, but uh, that'll toughen up over the years. So that's the sort of position we want for the right hand. And that's how I'd like my students to hold the French on. Thanks for watching.